Let us understand a little bit about scale of temperature. There are basically two of them. One is the Celsius and the other one is Kelvin. Okay. Now Celsius you must be all aware because this is what we used on a daily basis in our lives. Okay. So when you have to measure temperature you do it in degree Celsius. This is basically this means degree Celsius. So let's say if you have to measure fever you use degree Celsius. Okay. Let's say you have to see what's the melting point or the boiling point. You use degree Celsius. So we know that insofar as boiling point is concerned, water boils at 100 degree Celsius or the melting point of ice is 0 degree Celsius. Okay? Right? So this is what we use on a daily basis in our lives. Now Kelvin scale is basically used by the scientists. Okay? And the basic unit just like you have degree Celsius over here is Kelvin in case of Kelvin scale of temperature. Kelvin is the SI unit of Kelvin scale. And just like this is represented by degree centigrade or degree C, Kelvin is represented by K. Now I told you about two degrees for melting of ice and water. So if you were to form a comparables, the melting of ice takes place at 273 Kelvin and similarly the BP or the boiling point of water is equal to 373 Kelvin. Now if you notice is there something common which is there? Here it was 0 and 100. Here it is 273 and 373. So basically in both the cases the difference is 100 so we say that Kelvin temperature is equal to Celsius plus 273. Okay. So if you notice if it was 0, it was 0 plus 273, 273 here. If it was 100, this was 100 plus 273, 373 here. Okay. So by using this formula, you can kind of calculate that if there is a particular temperature on degree Celsius, what will be the corresponding Kelvin reading for that? Right? 